What's up family, it's the Brazen Goddess, and I just want to do a real quick update on where I am almost three weeks into doing Insanity, Shanti Insanity, the crazy workout, okay? Um, so it is three weeks and five days for me, actually three weeks and six days, tomorrow will be the seventh day, and um, a couple changes have been happening in the workout plan, I thought I had it, yeah, I have it up on the wall. And um, just really in, in my body and everything from doing it. So just to keep you updated, um, in the first two weeks, I actually, I did not weigh myself. I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to obsess over the scale. The scale number has nothing to do with my results, blah, 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 blah. So I'm seeing results in my body. But after I weighed myself after two weeks, I had gained three pounds. So I'm like, so... <laughs> I looked it up. I'm like looking on every beach body freaking message board and everything. And people said, yes, I did gain two to three pounds. Um, when your body is getting used to that much activity, a lot of times it will hold fluid in the muscles. And, you know, basically is water weight and, you know, is normal. So I was like, okay, I feel better. I'm not going to obsess over it. But I did weigh myself yesterday and I'm back to my normal weight. So, but I am seeing changes in my cardiovascular strength to where when I'm running up the steps, when I'm doing dance class, like today I had dance class and I was not tired. You know what I mean? So, um, even just doing different things, I just feel more power in my body than I normally would. And so I can definitely tell that I'm getting stronger with these consistent six days a week workouts. You know what I mean? I'm also seeing changes and muscle tone in my body so my arms my stomach definitely and my legs and I'm just feeling um, overall tighter in the body and so that's a good thing um and the last thing that I noticed is that my diet has definitely been helping and my diet basically you know I'm vegan so I've been doing um, kind of like meal prepping lightweight meal prepping <laughs> and I say that because I usually will put um, some kind of protein like a tofu or seaton or something like that. I put it in containers. I did that this week. And then also I think last week I did the same thing. And um, I'll put it in the container and just kind of fill up half the container. And don't look at my nails. And um, then before lunch, I'll go ahead and either eat the vegetable that my family is eating or I'll cook a vegetable and put it in there with my protein and then I'll usually have that with you know some type of carb like maybe quinoa or something like that so that's what I've been doing and that's been helping because I work from home but I work full-time and I work from 12 to 8 30 so I literally get in my breaks in like two hour increments but they're off from when I would normally eat a meal. So it's like I have to eat before I go in at 12 just to kind of be on schedule. And then I will go ahead and like have, you know, a, a snack in between my meals and things like that. And I've just been really doing, you know, going back into that seating or whatever it is or doing healthier snacks, like just doing like some granola or whatever. I think kind of lightweight counting my calories, not really counting them to obsess over them, but just to kind of see what range I'm in right now because I am breastfeeding and I'm working out six days a week. And then on my rest day today, Saturday, I have African dance class. So I'm extra active right now. And I've been hitting around... I mean, some days it's really low. Some days it's like 1,100. And then some days it is more like, like today it was like 1,900. So it really just depends on the day, to be honest. But um, I just want to make sure that I'm being consistent so that I am still able to, you know, make enough milk and all of those different things. So that's been a part of the struggle. But um, my diet has been good. I've been drinking a lot of water because doing this insanity workout, you will be so tired and so thirsty. But um, that's my update for week three. I'm looking forward to week four and then that rest week. And um, we'll see <laughs> what next month has to offer. All right, peace.